Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your homegirl Bukola Temini Bukola to my host subscribers. Thank you for coming back and to the new ones. You're welcome. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so to subscribe, help the ministry to go to the permanent site. <laughs> so I'll be discussing how I feel the course, and that almost got me into depression in the UK. Like I almost went into depression. Like thank God for God. Don't always believe all what you see on social media because some of us will just come out and smile. You don't even know what we are going through. At that point, I was still helping people. Like I was still answering questions i was still responding to chat i was still and i was all being paid i was just doing it because i just love to do that i was still doing youtube video and i was like hi right, guys <laughs> but it was not easy let me take you back to what really happened there was a course you know i did ai and data science so there was a course that i didn't i didn't really understand that course and that is what i keep telling people if you don't understand the course make sure you go to this lecturer talk to somebody don't just sit down don't just do a lone ranger like me i only go to school once once in a week every thursday only so because my school is far from home so i only have class on thursday so what am i looking for but what i should have been doing was go to the um, library read about it but i i felt i can do it at home and i can finish up but it all new when it was not like two days or two days to the submission and that's another thing i didn't take extension that's why i keep telling people to make sure you take extension if you're not sure of the assignment don't submit take extension before the, the deadline take extension this place is not like nigeria they will give you the extension so i felt so i felt like ah, i've not gotten it so i went to school i called one of my friends shout out to damola <laughs> damola god bless you i sh i went to meet damola in school and and i was like damola please i don't understand so damola was with his friends and i made them studying it and trying to resolve the assignments that was first semester so first semester is always very very <laughs> tedious like we just came in everybody just trying to settle down we don't have our bearing we are still trying to set the children in school. That was around October, November. So the deadline was around maybe December. I can't remember. Then I went to meet Damola. So Damola said, okay, well, I should come and sit down with them. So I sat down with them as they were doing it. I didn't even still understand, but I, I was doing it. So I got the assignment. I was ready, but I, I, I said when I get to them, I will sum it up and go and finish it up at home. So in the midnight, I tried to do it. Early in the morning, I tried to do it because it was a um, Python program. So I was writing the, pro I've already written the program, but it has to run for me to write some um, results. But it was not running. When I go, I called Damola, Damola, please help me. This thing is not running. And I've already gotten it just for me to update. And, and I think I was using, I can't even remember. So. It was not running. I did one. One was okay. The second one was not running. And the second one is like, let's take the mark. It was not running. So I just, it was already close to deadline. Some minutes to deadline. And I was like, should I submit? Should I not submit? Ah, let me just submit like that. But I was already crying. I was telling my husband, oh, I'm to fail. <laughs> like I have failed. So I sent a mail. I think that day or after that day, I sent a mail to my supervisor or somebody that i don't think i did it well so they said if i didn't do it well there's no problem they will allow us do it again I can resubmit later when the result is out if, if i didn't do it well they, then i think the past one was 50. now so i see my result waiting i get 30 i started crying <laughs> i cried i cried i cried i did submit one I didn't submit one because the code wasn't running. So there's no how I'm going to submit because I need the result to write. To write because we deal with coding. No, they won't mark the code. But if I have the results down, they will mark that one. So I felt so bad when the result was out. I started crying. I was on myself. My husband was just consoling me. You will do it again. You know, she was like, she will fail in reading. I said, I've never failed. When I was in school, anybody that knows me during my set, when I was in school, I have never failed any course like feel. <sighs> so it felt like a shock to me. <laughs> now that I'm laughing, it was not easy because at that period, that was when I even got pregnant. <laughs> when I, that was when I had I had the, the pregnancy then, and I was like, Holy Spirit, what's going to happen to me? I'm pregnant. I have I've, I've failed a course. 
and oh ni ro wo ni yo la fi wasi school that god <laughs> like that I'm, I'm over it that is why i'm smiling now because then anybody that called me anybody that cares to hear that time i was always telling everybody i feel do Oh, yeah, I feel and I was not keeping quiet. I was actually telling everybody that cares to hear. I'll go and be this one. I feel this one to say ah, I nearly passed. It was just good. I got fifty something. This one to say I did not really pass very well. I did not even understand it very well. So ah, I was so devastated. I was I was questioning myself that why did I even submit? I should have submitted. And since I didn't do it well, I should. So that is a lesson too. If you are not sure of the assignment before the deadline, take an extension. Some school allow seven days extra extension. Some school allow two weeks extension. So take an extension. They used to give, and like you can say your mental health is not that stable you can say something just to make sure that you don't sub they, they will even ask if you are okay to submit it if you are not okay don't submit it that period i even did a video the video is lost now <laughs> that period i was always crying and when anybody chats me mm, i'll respond people don't even know what i'm going through so you don't even know what somebody's growing through sometimes when it comes to people's dm and they didn't respond to you on time and some people used to have that um that mentality of you must answer me you must do this that's why I, i'm not collecting any money from anybody i'm just doing it for humanity i'm not i'm not collecting any money so sometimes my husband would say leave the phone just just do something or something but I, I told him that allow me to do this youtube i find joy doing it let me just keep doing it if that is what will make it make me happy so i would i use this i'm using this opportunity to advise people if you are if you are schooling in UK, just try your best to do your assignment well. If you don't understand, seek for help. Call people that can help you. My husband has to call all his friends that I know that is into data analysis, and he was calling them. My wife is having problem. My husband even have to. I when I write code, sometimes my husband will be the one to help me in the writing. The ones that involved. Well, we don't used to do five thousand words. My own place, we only do like two thousand words, one thousand five words. So the coding is the major issue, major thing. But it was not easy. And but thank God, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over so i'm just putting this out there for anybody that you feel you know you've never failed before and you end up failing a course and you are feeling down pick yourself up babe pick yourself up boy hey <laughs> guy <laughs> life continues man life continues so don't let that put you down because it's going to pull you down like seriously i'm not even lying i felt so so down and talk to a counselor you can reach out to your school there are people the school has put a lot of things to help you but if you don't know you won't know so you need to go there and talk to somebody if you have any issue i pray everything will work out well for you for, if you are just going to start school if you are just coming to uk plan yourself do your assignments don't wait till the last minute that's another thing that's I, I did. I waited the last minute and to go and meet people that understood it, I waited the last minute. But on the long run, I redid it. They allowed us to do it again and they gave us like six months to do it again. <laughs> so I did it again and I passed it. But that first shock, it affected me. But thank God it's all over. We've graduated. I just want to let you know that it's not easy to read it. You can go easy. It's not easy. But God to see us through, definitely. It's not easy. God to see us through. So, thank you guys for watching to this end. Hope you've learned one or two. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.